This is a monumental hour in world politics, in desperate diplomacy, with the expectation perhaps at any moment of a massive U.S. strike on Syria. But Trump, just minutes ago, sent out this tweet, the president saying, quote, never said when an attack on Syria would take place. It could be soon or it could be not so soon. Just 24 hours ago, President Trump told the world, again on Twitter, he would, though, launch missiles to attack Assad's regime, daring Russia, in fact, to try and shoot them down. But again, he is now backing off of that claim of urgency, saying it may not happen anytime soon. Russia, though, has said if we're attacked, we will shoot down the missiles and we may even launch a counterattack against the launch vessels. Within the last few hours, here are all of the latest developments around the world as the Western world tries to respond on what to do. Up on your screen, these are the key bullet points that we'll be breaking down here on Daily Dose. Meanwhile, Iran is also promising to attack Israel, and Israel's army is on high high alert along the border. Even though President Trump telegraphed his plan to attack on Twitter, the White House press secretary, the defense secretary, went before the cameras. And they all said that options, all options, still on the table. The president has not laid out a timetable and still leaving a number of other options on the table. We're still assessing the uh, the intelligence uh, ourselves and our allies. We're still working on this. Is the U.S. military ready right now to conduct a counter uh, retaliatory strike if ordered? Uh, we stand ready to provide military options if they're appropriate, uh, as the president determined. And happening right now, British Prime Minister Theresa May is moving Navy submarines into position near Syria. She is calling an emergency cabinet meeting right now to discuss attacking Assad's regime in response to yet another chemical weapons attack alleged to be done by the Assad regime attacking Syrian women and children. We are working with our allies. As I say, we've been working with them to get a better understanding of what happened on the ground. We're rapidly reaching that understanding. All the indications are that this was the responsibility of the Syrian regime.